I finally got this chief back together and it's rideable, but there's still a few things that I gotta solve. Most importantly is the suspension and the exhaust. But previously, like I said, the suspension is just simply too bouncy because the spring rates off and the exhaust, it visually, it that ain't it chief. <laughs> and it doesn't sound as good as this bike looks, but just, just listen to this. <laughs> Also, it's it's also affecting the performance of the bike. Like you can clearly hear just how long it took this bike to start. But these are the final steps to make this chief complete. For the suspension, I had to take the stock springs and put them on the drag specialty shocks that I got. But this involves compressing the springs with a strap and then putting them on the other shocks. I had never done this before and it's absolutely terrifying to release the pressure and it could easily go sideways, literally, like, like pun intended, like fast. <laughs> But of course, it worked and now we have a custom suspension setup which made the ride more firm and it removed the bouncing on the rear end the ride command is the star of this bike it is truly a hidden gem and it was a huge piece to this bike's puzzle but the wiring was also chewed up and it took me a while but i found the suppliers for indians electrical components and i was able to replace the connectors instead of the entire wiring component this doesn't include me buying the wrong connectors. I bought the purple ones instead of the blue ones, like, like blue one this time. But either way, it matters and I saved some money, but I also learned multiple skills in the process because now the GPS works with that one cable required and it's repaired and the ride command is 100% functional. We back, baby. Seriously, you just ruined the moment. <laughs> but this bike has come a long way from when we started and it's almost ready to be given away to one of the supporters of this channel. So if you want to get in on this, you definitely should. You can head over to brandonmacasso.com, get your sticker pack, and that is an entry to win and possibly make this bike yours. Because you know what? Who doesn't want an Indian Chief for a little or nothing? And of course, you're supporting this rebuild. Definitely get in on it. Oh yeah. This could be you, riding this bike, out here on roads like this. Yeah, this could be you. It's me right now and I'm loving it. <laughs> oh man, just get back on this man. There's always more work to do. Okay, back to the exhaust. Well, half of an exhaust, rather. Clearly, the bike is starving from, I guess, a lack of back pressure, making it more difficult to start. This exhaust, it, it, it started to grow on me, but there's always a better exhaust out there. And I found the stage one chief exhaust for the low, like, like, like half off low. And to me, this makes sense for installing it because, because I mean, it, it was made for the bike. But first I had to get these GP rusted, slip-ons they, they don't have really good coatings <laughs> but it's only held on the bike by a few simple clamps and these are now spare pieces for another bill and they will go on the shelf at some point i guess i'll just paint them and restore them
After everything's finished, we got this stage one exhaust in its place. It mounts to the stock exhaust bracket with two screws and some bushings and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I completely dig this look way more than those previous slip-ons. No knocking against them, I'm not knocking against them, but to me, these look better. Now some of y'all, some of y'all, y'all got at me about the blue gas cap. Y'all know that was just tape, right? <laughs> Either way, silver doesn't match anything on this bike other than the forks, so I bought an aftermarket low profile black gas cap. It sits flush to the tank and it works. It, you know, you have to put your thumb in there and twist it and pop it up and twist it all, but hey, it looks better and it works. And if you didn't know, this bike does also have a fuel vent line under the tank because this gas cap, it does not have a fuel vent on it because it's not needed. So if you're looking for a gas cap like this, you don't have to have a fuel vent. It's already on the tank. I matched the gloss and the flat black matteness of the bike with these Arlen S mirrors. I already scratched one. So that, that seriously didn't take long. So there, there's absolutely no more pressure, right? But these were easy to install. And I, ugh, I don't know why they did this. You got these black matte mirrors, and then you got this silver hardware that comes with the mirrors. I ain't feeling that. But then, then I had this idea. Oh, I have a stock chief mirror and those same pieces fit this hardware. So I took that and I fit it on the mirrors. The problem was, this was a bit tedious. It was a bit tedious to get these angles correctly and on my test commute this mirror just it it just would not stay put like it's is it just wants to just do its thing and just fly off the bike they obviously needed adjustment but i finally got them right but these add a nice sleek profile to the bike they're not overly big obviously you're trading visibility for look but hey the bike's legal but with everything together i finally took a spin on chief testing everything, putting gas in the bike, making sure nothing's leaking, the GPS works, testing that out, the mirrors, making sure I can see stuff out of them even when they're just flapping all over the place. It all came together perfectly. And this Chief is right where it needs to be. And of course the exhaust to me sounds so much better, so much better. At this stage, I can say that this bike is absolutely done, meaning there's nothing else for me to do to this bike other than get it inspected, and then we can make some content on it before we finally give the bike away to one of you that have entered to win this bike and that's watching. And it's still not too late, but I have been pleased with putting this bike back together, learning everything I can about this bike, and um, <laughs> there's so many people that have reached out that, that have just been inspired with this build. And I'm just excited to just keep going and doing more with it. But the next step is to get it inspected. And that's where we're going to take this thing completely from a salvage to a rebuild state. And that's when we can get the tag. And that's where we can get, uh, you know, insurance for it and legally ride it on the street. So if you want to get in to possibly win this bike, all you have to do is head over to BrandonMcCostle.com, get you a sticker pack, those awesome designs that we created. And that will get you an entry to win this bike. So if you're new here and you want to catch up on this series and figure out, you know, why we're doing everything we're doing on, on this bike, you can click this playlist right here on the screen and start from the very beginning. And also, again, if you want to get entered to win this bike, you can head over to BrandonMcCostle.com by clicking this link right here on the screen. It'll take you straight to it. But as always, thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting this series. And as always, if you're subscribed, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.